Is it an animal? No. Is it a person? Yeah. Is it a Counter-Strike player? Yeah. Is it a North American player? No. European? Yes. Um, Swedish? No. Danish? Yeah. How many questions is that? I don't even know. Eight. Astralis? Are they on Astralis? No. That's one question, by the way. Are they on North? What team is he on? Bro! I forgot what team is he's on. I think he is, yeah. On North? Yeah. So now I have to really minimize it and hope. Okay, you better hope you're right. I'm pretty sure he's on North. <laughs> we need someone. Fuck. Anyone you guys confirm this? Because this is yes, important. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark yeah, Carabai. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's nuts. That's How'd you get that? Right? I feel like I'm not gonna get it. Yeah, I think that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Like that shit? Well, that's nuts. <laughs> playing phase and last event who knows what happened I wasn't there with the boys so they lost no but uh, we lost to phase as well last tournament they had a really good showing against us on cash and mirage uh, we expect it to be actually one of those two maps but don't tell them we haven't done videos yet uh, yeah and I think we're prepared for it we screamed yesterday versus Astralis a few times. Yeah, right. Teams looking good. This is um, first tonight. Yeah, you want to play? Yeah, like you have to use water. Okay. Or is that not how it works? What do you mean? Like, like, like you, you have to eat like within a certain amount of time during the day. Right? So like yeah, well you wanna you can't eat during the day. Like you're talking about for tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. So tonight before like uh, sunrise, I'm gonna try to eat like as much as I can. So like I think sunrise is at like 4 a.m. Holy crap. So like, I'm probably going to eat like one or two. Wow, really? Yeah. I think my plan is to just store a burrito every night and then have that before I go to sleep. And how, I, like, how much? And drink a lot of water. How many, yeah. like, if you had a guess, how many calories are you taking when you're, like, you're having them? Like at night? Yeah. Like so no, like so my, my so basically it's from like four a.m. to eight p.m. Wow. And then that's a long time. Yeah. So you have to eat between eight p.m. and four a.m. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Alright, so you guys found first. Okay. We've been in Cool. <laughs> Bandu. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, you guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? We should have just let him, dude. Yeah, I should have. 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 I it's Not once have you come back with vetoes and Will's been satisfied. <laughs> Every he's, time? Either, he's either really satisfied because someone else isn't. Like if let's say if Tim wasn't satisfied, Will be like, dude, no, that makes sense. So I'm doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> That's a voice of reason. Yeah, and we were just waiting for the final headset to go on. FNS has done just FNS. that. Things are getting a bit hot for him here. He's able to find himself one and the second to Nico. And now it is just exist. And FNS, he's going to get it all done. Four frags with the P250 from the IGL for Cloud9. Almost a massive play. Now leaves it all on Rain. 1v2. He's going to do the damage. It's Skadoodle versus Rain. And Skadoodle's going to win it out. Cloud9 trying to fend off the ensuing phase clan now. It's a man rapid round, but for Skadoodle, he's going to take the fight head on. It's flank round from Carrigan that could do everything. He spots out one, but no, Skadoodle going to smite him down. He wants to try and find himself a third. Once again, it's left to Rain and clutch it out in 1v2. Times tick down very, very low, and they're just playing with the clock, acting as that third man, and there's automatic on the wrap round. Weeky was spotted. Lucky to be alive. Nico in a bit of trouble here as well. Flashbangs come through. Smoke's deployed. He'll find two. And that should be it for him, but what an absolutely amazing round. Three frags in total. No bombs to be planted here, and they know exactly where automatic is. Great stuff by FaZe, bending off the set piece, and Cloud9 get absolutely nothing done there. There's a man pushing up to Tarek over in mid. That's going to be Rain, missed shot from Tarek. He doesn't want to find anything the second time around. Now, Automatic has to hold his own. He's only good for one. And Nico is fully flashed, but he still finds kills. It is just Rush in a 1v4. He's only got three kills this entire game, Henry. I'm not fancying his odds too much here. Yeah, I think you might be right. We know which way this one is heading. 16-3 to phase. Not even a consolation frag there for Rush. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.
anytime you feel like we need to pause, whether it be because the other team has too much momentum or because you want to say something, I think you should do it because what else yeah, are you going to do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Guys. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. No, I wouldn't question Mirage. I would question Cash. I would think, why do we cash? No, <laughs> no, no, I think more, you'd be more likely to say, like, how'd you look cash in? <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, that's true. Oh, yeah. Is it a bit, but we just, we just lost on cash. Did you hear what I said? I said Mirage cash for me when he was coming over. Yeah, I didn't get the third one right, yeah. Do you see things going away? That's just tapping away, trying to get back in through the smoke. He does find the kill to JNT, and that falls as well. Sharks already looking to hold on to this bomb site, but Cloud9 are coming in big with some frags. Nice jump from Tarek. He'll just be able to decapitate RCF. And what a what a mess of a round there. Cloud9, very strong retake, going to start things off on the pistol with their first round. Watch the cross. He gets safely to MBK. They need to check that, and they do. A dick comes through to the teammate of FNS. He tags automatic, but he's on the bomb. An exit surely can't stop this. Now, there's just not enough time. The defuse is stuck, and the round is won. Cloud9 are going to be able to equal up with 7-7. Seven, seven. Rifles upon rifles now for Cloud9 to play with. It's skewered all over the floor, and Tarek, he's not done. He's just running around, finding kills left and right. Let's see, Cloud9 going to be dealt with a bit of a rush here as the CTs begin to push up in main, and oh, Checkers as Rush begins to wrap the left side. He's got to watch his heaven. He does. Exit caught. The JNT with the head angle not even going to be able to stay alive. Rush doubles down with Leo so tagged as well. It's a third kill for Rush. He is having a field day on the B side. Main players have already made their way through. Cannot have support, but Tarek doesn't need support. He's found one, he's found two, and already Cloud9 have traded back that initial pick from Sharks. In the meantime, Automatic snuck through door, and that is perfect for Cloud9. That's all they would have wanted. What's the shoulder blade from Excel? What? Oh, not a fan of that peak exit, and Skadoodle oh. certainly is. That's a free pick. It's just up to the AWP of the T side. Skadoodle, all bang headshot, and bomb going down on the site. He'll have enough time just for the plant. But RCF with a full set of utility coming back in from the heavens. But will he be an angel? Oh. It's a no. Skadoodle keeps it alive. Down. It is automatic. We've seen him get a 3k from this position before. And again, they don't check it. He just takes one and the second as well. How is he able to do this time after time? Tarek even comes in through the back line and the bomb's dropped, as is automatic. Sharks' chance of winning the round is extremely low. It's massive now. Sharks in a five on three, looking to close out the first map here of this best of three. FNS trying to save the day, but he's only going to get one. Bomb dropped again and Knack doubles it. It's Sharks. They will find the victory in map. I'll fucking drain from that game. Brush it up. So you we went through, I feel like we just played a whole fucking series. You went through a very... We played our rounds. Well, various emotions, for sure, like, from, like, yeah, dude, like, no, so fuck, like, I lost that round, like, you know what I mean, like, all over yeah. the place. I felt it all. Yeah. <laughs> 30. I could do, like, 20 more, but I don't want to over. Some chair dips? <laughs> Chess is definitely a chair Planted for jungle as well, so these frags being found by Cloud9 are crucial. Oh, but more and more kills from Automatic. His flank has performed wonderfully. He found a double coming in through the jungle. And now it is Tarek and Automatic to try and shut this one down. They picked up the kit off the body of Skadoodle, but they need a hell of a lot more where that came from. RCF going to drop one, trade back for Automatic. He's looking for the 4K. He's sticking the bomb. Will Exit realize, will he be able to stop him? It's a no. It's a round one by Cloud9. He stuck it, and he even finds a kill to top it off. The Two versus four now. Will be enough to find this frag as Exit. Just expect the unbounding automatic from Palace and Tarek as well. Catches Jane to your guard. And maybe, just maybe, can slip out the dream here. The Cinderella story will continue onto Inferno if Cloud9 can close this one out. Tarek's got mollied off. He's got to move towards the back of the site. Plant can come in eventually, but they can keep throwing nades. Keep trying to keep uh, catch him off guard. Sorry, Tarek not going to be able to get the no! kill. But automatic has his cross, and Tarek follows up. It's 16 rounds of Cloud9. They're going to take the victory. They do take Mirage Snods. Well done. I'm, I'm not Cloud9 fanboy. It's just, you know. I like my percentages, and I feel like Cloud9 win this one eight out of ten times. And uh, you know, you have to be expecting Cloud9 to deliver on one of these maps. Want to, you know, joke aside, we don't want to see one of the better teams in this event eliminated on the first day. I would like to see a nice little run from Cloud9 because they've definitely not shown the the same peak that they showed at the major since the major. So yeah. it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's understandable. You've won, of course, you've won the best event ever in CSGO history, one could argue. Yes, no, it's 10 seconds. They need to plant right now. Skadoodle's found the opener. X is still in the pit. They need to get rid of him right now, and they do. 
Oh, by the skin of their teeth, Cloud9 get a bomb on, and only with one second remaining does it go down. A bit close for comfort, I would say. Response, though, and a bit of damage done, mainly by Automatic, who lines up three kills in Banana. Only Leo left up, and it seems like Cloud9, they are going to be the team going forward. They are going to be fighting for their lives in the future. And Sharks, without one, they're going home, sadly. All the way back to Brazil, they've been eliminated. <laughs> Were you in, were you filming? All right. <laughs> so we just played our first couple matches of EPL Dallas. Uh, first match was Phase, and we were pretty confident going into it. But Vito ended us on Cash, and that's one of the stronger maps. And he's always they've always dominated us on it, so they kind of owned us on that. So it's kind of like we didn't get much going, and like we didn't have a real chance. We had well, like, very small gun rounds, so they played well. Um, props to them. We definitely started out really, really weak. And then we went into the second match versus Sharks, it's a Brazilian team that we haven't really heard of or played versus that much. Only a couple of players I've heard of, like Nak, for example. And they won their first map pick on Cash. And once again, Cash is like a pretty like evenly distributed map for us. Like it's like middle, middle pack for us, but we still like lost. And then we were confident, even though we lost to an underdog team on the first map, that we were gonna win because we had Mirage and Inferno, which are two of our really strong maps, and Mirage was our pick, so. But they did play well in Mirage. They got 11 rounds, so props to them for that. They, they played really well throughout, but Inferno, 16-1, so it's pretty one-sided. Hard fought for us. Play the loser of Nabi Heroic. So I'm assuming it's going to be Heroic, but Heroic's playing well. It'd be energy, so you never know. We could play Nabi, but I think um, we beat Heroic the last time we played them. Granted, different roster, but yeah. See you then. What is that? Is that a boulder? I'm sweating. Don't show that. No, but I'm just saying, you know, like, this is something... That'll, that'll be fine during, oh my the, God. during the fasting. That'll be fine. A bit more information to work with for Heroic. They've just got to clear out Rush from under this balcony because he's going to be the linchpin in this round. There it is. Body finds him, just gets right in his face and gets the kill as well. USP in his hands and FNS is dead in the spawn. Everyone getting wrecked here for Cloud9 and that is a pitch perfect round for Heroic. And that's it. Heroic had taken A. The only issue is they haven't cleared up the ramp. Tarek with two. He just needs to stay alive. They have a man advantage, but he goes in for more. Chroman going to be caught. And it's just Moddy. Shot missed, and Chroman holds the angle. That's where Skadoodle peeks back in and finds it. And now it is just the lone Moddy with three points of health. Trying to find anything he can on the B site, but Automatic has his number. CT's on the site that Heroic have left in the server, and Tarek's going to find another one. That's the bomb in the open. Tarek with two, and he is just having an absolute field day this map. The automatic winning his late jewel in the apartments leaves Nico alone, one of the X stars for the team. He's oh found two. My. Nico looking for the clutch, the 1v1. He knows exactly where Automatic is. Going for the shot. Nico saves the day. There's no surprise. He's been the best performer on this team this event, and that is going to continue here on Mirage. A warning shot of that. Gives away his position, telegraphs the A-bomb plant, and now we witness the one versus one. Does Freiburg know he's crossed? That's the question here. Did he see him? Because he might have just missed him crossing up through the connector. Freiburg has a bit of an inkling, so he will walk up, but this is a good position from Automatic, and he will find that shot. Pick and drop off FNS. Great example. Going to go down with the bomb dropped as well. More info for Heroic, but they don't seem too problematic with giving up mid control now for Cloud9. They have a five on three. As long as they have the exteriors of the map through ramp and Alice locked down, that should be fine. But out of nowhere, two picks right back in for Cloud9. And Rush's position is going to be so important as well. Skadoodle takes the bait, so Freiburg now doesn't know where Rush is. He might just walk right past, giving Rush the opportunity to strike. And there it is. Smokes down, but it won't seem to make a difference. Rush with one, and he almost gets the double, but the trade is enough for Automatic. The four versus Pistols, but will he be able to do it versus Rifles? Rock, uh, first kill already coming through. Nico doubling down, and out of nowhere, the round's over. Flawless for Heroic. Dealing deadly blows now towards the speed side, so a heavily favored round now for C9. Oh, Freiburg almost caught there on the cross. He is going to get a second opportunity, though. Will he take it? It's a no. FNS even follows up with damage to Modi, but Tarek is getting aggressive in the spawn to drop the early boosted player. Automatic dropping Nico up in the heaven will solidify this round for Cloud9. Five on five. 
They have the rifles to go for this as well. This has to be their round. This has to be a final buy round for Cloud9. And there is the double entry. Make it three. Automatic finding two from the monster. And finally, things are look, look, uh, looking up for Cloud9. Fake on the bomb. Estag wide scrapes. He's going to give away his position. Nico, they know he's now not on the bomb after he finds that kill to automatic. But does he know where FNS is? Kit found. FNS trying to chase this one down as Nico sticks to the bomb. And he's not going to be able to get away with it this time. Cloud9, six rounds on the half. It may not be Valiant, but after the way that that first half went, it's uh, a last couple to at least give them some confidence. You've got to say fair play to her racers to concede the spot, give it over to Heroic. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, hats off to them because they've now shown us what Heroic can really do. Oh, rush. Does rush up through short, but he's going to get traded by Chroman straight into the site. Molly's already found the man down long. That's automatic. FNS quickly dispatched, and with that, this game is looking to be over. We need something miraculous for Cloud9. Got to run through the Molly, but he doesn't even have the option. He left it too late. It's spread, it's open, and there's flames everywhere. He's just going to run through it, and I don't even blame him. That's it. Cloud9 will be eliminated here from Dallas, and that is heroic. Taking a 2 0 victory up against the North American side. Right now, we played heroic and we lost. That's it. <laughs> no, we lost 2-0 to heroic and that's really bad. So we're uh, playing putt putt or miniature golf as I call it to relieve some stress. It's the last day here. So try to have some fun. That's it. So right now we're here in ECS in London and we're going to be playing against Astralis but looking back towards Dallas we made some changes on our roster and I'll be going back to the in-game leader role and also FNS will be stepping down to the bench. It's unfortunate that things didn't work out. We are like still new with this change. It's going to be tough but I think if we get some momentum going in the beginning of our games that anything's possible so hopefully we do well starting off. First day of ECS, and we're playing Astralis first. They're considered or they are the best team in the world right now, so it's gonna be hard. So the last time we played Astralis was at the Major, which was obviously a long time ago, and we eliminated them. So they probably want revenge. So when we played them last, they didn't have Magic's Boy, and he's been playing really well with them. So yeah, they're looking strong. And as the smoke goes down, here comes the push. With Automatic going in first, spots the player in pit, and Zipnix doesn't have any help here. The push comes in. Oh, Automatic eventually gets the frag, and it's only Device left. He will go down. Tarek pushing in. Zipnix not getting the shot through. Tarek just about has time for the defuse. And it is going to be Cloud9 again. It looks for a bit more. He knows there's a player up close and Automatic just find time here. Gets another. No, it was Tarek to find that frag. It's going to be brutal. The flashes, the nades, everything coming in. 
as well as the bullets. It's going to be Astralis mowing down the players in towards the bottom of mid. At 15 seconds. They have to make their way quickly to Glaive. If he finds more than one here, if he finds the bomb panda, it's over. And there goes Gadoodle. A second oh. from Glaive through the smoke, and that is the bomb. It's over. Device catches out another, and it's all on the automatic, but there's no time, and that is it. Estrella is 16 to 13. Clyde 9, they leave it too late, but a valiant effort. I mean, that first half, 12 to 3, they posted way more rounds than anybody expected. Yeah, more people but the rounds you wanted to do that, we died. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's we should have kept trying it probably. Really evolved, but like, we, we should have just, just stayed alive, alive, take mid, leave one person there, but even then, we were that's dying in the process of even yeah. getting into a default. I don't think that's anybody's fault. Well, I mean, that one round that they took mid, or that we tried to take mid, and he killed two of us blind. Yeah, like, that never happened. Yeah, the that, one round we popped, we're trying to pop through the. You're, you were looking for him, though, right? Yeah. yeah, what happened that? That was crazy. I peeked yeah. as I walked into a spray. That's uh, straight. Yeah. We volley car and he walked through the volley, I guess. I don't know. This is our free ritual. He plays really... best when he plays Fortnite before. Yeah, I know. I didn't get to play Fortnite. Well, I think we haven't Are you guys tracking? No. We haven't talked about the thing. The whole thing is that we're not going to talk about it until right before we go live. Huh. That's perfect. That's yeah. ideal for you. Yeah. It's going to be fun. I mean, what, is, like, what are you going out to lose? I'm not going there to make money or something. You're going there to party. To I swear, though, I just want to be SK so I can talk so much shit to Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be like, yo, what have you guys been doing over there? <laughs> Tell me not on stage, Tyler. I've already ripped off my shirt. What do I do this time? I beat Stu. Take off your pants. Yeah, <laughs> just rip my pants off. Tell him it's Stu. He just fucking tries to fight me up. You rip off your pants. You have like boxers with <laughs> Stu's face on it. <laughs> the Stu you from Family Guy. Scrappers just give you. How much you got? One K last time. That's it. This is last year. One K for what? One K for what? Christmas. They just give them to you. No, for what? Oh, you give you money? Credit. Oh yeah, for Christmas. K. Holy shit. Cash one K like money. What? Yeah, money? one K money. That's how much I got for what do you think one K one K V bucks? Coins? I don't know. One K V bucks. Like graduation. They give you a one dollar Fortnite V bucks. Brown culture. They just give you one K. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, like grandparents just give you money slowly, and you just take it. Like, well, it's disrespectful not to. <laughs> that's why my parents <laughs> that's tell what me. You tell no, honestly, like the first time they gave gave me money, I was like, I don't want it. Like, that's fucked up. Yeah. You're giving me too much, and like my parents were like, that's disrespectful. Like the family almost broke up. Yeah. <laughs> Scooter here at ECS playing Fnatic in a best of three. Uh, we're currently down at 01, and uh, if we don't win, we're going home, so we should win today. But it's rushed to take one player down, and now it falls back into a three versus three. Fnatic are falling apart. There's the bomb. It's one player left. It's Golden. A one versus three for him. Rush waiting around the corner. Golden just waiting to see if a peek comes in, but Cloud9 playing it patiently, and ooh, Rush struggling, but eventually finds the frag. It's Cloud9 to get the first round. CT's on the other side waiting, and Rush is up close, but he is going to get two. And that is the round over and done with. Cloud9 are going to get their seventh round here, barring any miracle plays from Flusher. It's not going to happen. Solid end to the half for Cloud9. Can they clear this corner? Golden waiting patiently. The CZ not getting the frag, but Flusher could still very well win this. They're both stuck on the sights. FNS goes for the peak. And Cloud9 on the verge of taking this map. Crims finally strikes from behind, only gets one. FNS and Tarek clutch United. Cloud9, they take the first map, 16 to 14. Into the piss around here on Trin, the second map of the day. It's Cloud9 on the T side, Fnatic on that CT side. JW in position, spots the first player, but it's Flusher to get the first frag of the map. Dancing in the smoke oh. together, 10 HP automatic, gets oh. knifed by Golden, and there's the round for Fnatic. The pistol goes their way. Tim only good for one. Rush looking to chime in, but he will also go down, and Skadoodle only has to scout the USP out for the frag. <laughs> just about holds on again. Oh, I mean, he's in a one versus three. He's find the first. He's an incredible player that clutches. There goes another one. Three kills fine so far. One. And one more to find. Tarek doesn't oh. spot him out. And it's Crims to take it. Fight's gonna come through shortly as the smoke is deployed. Here comes the push. Crims looking for one, finds the headshot. Do they expect the second player though? Tarek playing it patiently, spots them out, but he's gonna play the time. The defuse not oh. gonna happen. <laughs> Tarek scrams away. Very well played by Tarek because he runs around the box. Pop position, two players trapped inside of that. He runs damage, but they now know exactly where he is, and this is difficult. The flashbang comes over the top. Rush. A uh, one versus one. They both have AK 47s to work with. I don't know if Rush spotted it says crossover. I believe he did, and he has the high angle, and that will be it. Clyde 9, it rounds. That smoke will begin to dissipate to his cover is gone, and it's Tarek to walk in. Two kills looking for 
some more. He is in the middle of the spot. Oh. He will find exist a huge play from Tarek. But it's all on to Russia. One versus four to keep Clyde Nine alive. And he's going to find the first. He's going to drop down inside of the checkers. Sprays through. Finds that kill. So it's still a little bit of a chance for him. But he goes down to Grims. And that is it. Fnatic prevail. And they'll be moving on into the tournament. Commiserations to Clyde Nine, though. An excellent performance throughout. <laughs> I still watch your streams, guys. So during these last couple of months, our, our, our kind of system has been kind of stagnant, and we haven't been really improving that much, which kind of sucks. Because I always feel like on this team, we've always improved at a good rate, but lately it almost seems like we've regressed, and uh, we've been doing the same stuff a lot. So I think going to Cologne, we're gonna have a like open mind and a lot more freedom because we're playing with stand-in. We're gonna try, to lot, try out a lot of new things and I think that you're gonna see a better Cloud9. So for Cologne, we weighed our options and we ended up choosing Stiko as our stand-in for Cologne. Nothing set in stone right now, but he's definitely an option that we never know what's gonna happen. If he, if he fits in really well, then that's great. Um, we played with him a few scrims, we saw he has great communication, so he's a good fit and we'll just see how it goes with him.